Hey, Water Signs, it's Nicola. So, I said this in front of all my videos, so I'm gonna say it in front of this one. Just the PSA, since I've gotten this beautiful mic, I have used it every single day. So for whoever put the comment that um, they couldn't hear me, their ears were hurting because I didn't have my mic, I did. It was just in front of me. <coughs> okay, so, and it's the same distance, guys. It's just, because my camera's high, you can't see it in front of me. So, <laughs> for those of you that are interested, I still will be doing the, um, y'all know I heard that's actually glass. I drink out of glass containers. Um, for those of you that are interested, I'm still doing the $50 12 month reads. Um, I'm also doing the $25 six month reads, still taking private reads during this process. Guys, I have not stopped doing that. Um, but for those of you that, you know, would like something a little bit less expensive i am doing a special on my channel where i would do six months of the yearly read for um your sign on youtube it's not it's a general reading guys it's not personal so i would do six months of whatever sign you are on youtube and then you can buy the extended version on vimeo this will not all be out right now they will be coming out peri periodically so just stay tuned for your sign so let's see what messages we have from our water signs cancer scorpio pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for November 20th, 2018. What messages do we have? The Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. November the 20th, 2018. Y'all gotta let them burdens go. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. November the 20th, 2018. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, Moon, whoa. Hmm. Hmm. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. November 20th, 2019. Hmm. Feeling in conflict, feeling defeated. Y'all, uh, yep. Y'all feel defeated right now. Y'all feel defeated because of whatever y'all just went through, whatever y'all just had. You feel like you're stuck. You're worried about whether or not your foundation will, you know, move forward, whether or not, you know, the seeds that you've planted will come into fruition. This has to do with your happiness. Some of you guys are very disappointed. Um, could be dealing with a Leo. Needing to speak some truths. Go within yourself. Speak some truths so you can detach from drama. Someone has found the courage to really move forward, and you're conflicted by this. Um, you really need to move forward. So this can be your energy, or this can be your partner's energy. Take it as it resonates. But someone is detached. Someone has figured out how to, they're trying to figure out how to move forward. You're worried, you're conflicted, you're feeling defeated, but you're really trying to figure out how to move forward. All right, so let's see why we got this Ten of Cups here. <laughs> so listen, all right, some of you guys feel restricted by a relationship or restricted by a relationship ending. Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands, feel oppressed by your own happiness. You feel oppressed by pursuing your own happiness. You need to make adjustments. This is something that you've manifested for yourself. You want it to be happy. Listen, when you're when you're manifesting happiness and you're not in a happy situation, you're going to be removed from that situation and no matter what the emotional bond you have to it because emotions are emotions. This energy, it transforms. You could be happy one day, sad the next day. Those That's the same emotion. That's the same energy. That's what I'm saying. The energy in emotion, it just varies. It doesn't, happiness and sadness are not different. They're both energy. So it's really about what you choose. It's happiness. Sadness is just happiness in a low vibration. So it's literally what you're choosing to allow in. Some of you guys have happiness. You can get emotional stability or emotional sanity right now, but you're burdening yourself by your mental restrictions. You need to see that you can be happy. Stop worrying. Stop allowing yourself to feel conflicted. Let go of the woe is me and lit literally understand that you have the ability to raise your own vibration look at the situation from a different different perspective yeah you're not happy you're um disappointed in something or someone you're disappointed in some conflicts you're disappointed in someone's decision 
or someone's lack of decision to move forward. Yep, two of swords, two of pentacles, two of wands. So you're needing to make a decision to look at the situation from a different perspective and move forward. You got to move forward. You. All this is you. You're worried. You're worried about moving. You're in stagnation. You're in conflict. You're feeling defeated. Why? You've got to identify your own happiness. You can't rely on someone else to give you happiness. The happiness stems from yourself. That's why I'm telling you this energy that you're feeling is just energy. Transform it. Don't allow yourself to feel defeated. Pick yourself up and actually move toward happiness. Raise your vibration. You got to raise your vibration. So some of you guys are withdrawn. You're going within yourself. Someone, While you're withdrawn, someone's gaining strength from this. So you're withdrawn from someone and it's giving someone the strength to walk away. And that's just the gist of this. That's it. Got six swords here. So someone's six swords under here. Someone's detaching from this energy. They don't want to deal with the woe is me. So you're literally pushing someone away from you. But it's a part of your manifestation. You really want to be happy. So this is all working in your favor, but it's just about you changing your perspective and actually seeing that as such. So we got the strength card here. So you guys could be dealing with a Leo. This is a, uh, hmm. someone's tried to have patience with a relationship, but someone's trying to manifest their own stability now. They're going towards something new. So could be dealing with the Virgo, I mean, uh, not a Virgo. Well, you could be dealing with Virgo. We do have Virgo here, but you could be dealing with a Leo, someone who's manifesting their own path going towards something new taking a leap of faith away from this relationship so someone's manifested a new opportunity to escape this relationship and that's the truth they they see things from a new perspective and they are the ones six swords here that are detaching so someone's detached from you um they're detaching from drama from the conflicts period they're de they're detaching from the conflicts mm, you need to be honest with yourself because you, you see them detach it. And I believe you're just worried about now what happens. Yeah, you see this Tower card. I know what I'm talking about. Tower card, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. You see them moving towards something new. That's the underlying energy. All these Aces. You see, you're, you see that the truth is that you need to move towards something new. But you're just at a stagnation. You see the truth. You saw. It's already been shown to you. All right, so we got the Page of Swords here. You need to nurture yourself. Why is the Page of Swords here? Again, nurture yourself, nurture yourself, nurture yourself. Make the decision to be honest about what it is that you want. You're holding on to, you're holding on to this because you're afraid to make a decision. Period. Two of Swords, Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles. You're imbalanced about what you want, but you're needing to literally look at a situation from a different perspective. Some of you guys are needing to be the one to walk away but you didn't walk away someone walked away from you because you were at a you were back and forth back and forth back and forth so now you could be holding on to this or you could be guarded in regards to your emotion and just needing to be honest about what you feel queen of swords make the decision hermit card here taking control of a situation yeah so you went within yourself because someone walked away eight of cups page of swords i thought let's see why is this hermit card here you could have walked away someone could have walked away hermit energy here knight of swords hangman hermit yeah again you've been enlightened you're going within yourself searching for the enlightenment look you're going through if this isn't you this is someone else but this is going within yourself searching for the path searching for a way could be dealing with children could be situations from the past deception dealing with situations from the past deception in the past you being enlightened about that deception now you're needing to go within yourself so that you can figure out a way to move forward some of y'all holding on to this situation just because you're afraid to move you're afraid to be to speak your truths to be honest about what it is that you want because it's definitely not this and that's the truth it's not this whatever this is that you're holding on that you're leaving or that you're keeping yourself in stagnation about you're deceiving yourself by not deciding what's within your best interest, not seeing it from a different perspective, not seeing it as an opportunity when it's an opportunity. Someone sees it as an opportunity and they're moving forward. So let's see. Dang, this weekend was uh, some serious, y'all. Let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have from our water signs? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. 
water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, we got three. Hmm. That niche says yes. So if you got a question, you need to mm, work your magic, take charge of the situation, find blessings in your current situation. Some of y'all dealing with a fire sign or they got fire in their chart. They're, fam they're formulating the plans to move forward. You need to formulate a plan to move forward as well. You've been shown what you need to see. So this is all I have, y'all. Peace.